is unwound by DNA hexaplase. That exposes the antisense strand of DNA, which is where the code needs to come from to make the messenger RNA. Underneath, half of your RNA transcriptionase binds underneath it, half of your RNA transcriptionase binds at the top. If your RNA transcriptionase moves down the DNA, complementary nucleotides go and join together using diester bonds to form a long strand of messenger RNA. Right, the RNA transcriptionase dislodges when it reaches the stop codon. The messenger RNA moves out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore into the cytoplasm until it reaches a ribosome. The small unit of the ribosome binds at the bottom, the large subunit binds at the top. Once it's in that, transport RNA with complementary codons go and bind to the codons on the messenger RNA and bring the amino acids that are going to form our protein. As the ribosome moves along, subsequent messenger RNAs are dislodged and a long chain of polypeptides forms. Between the individual amino acids, peptide bonds form due to a dehydration reaction and that is what generates the primary structure of protein. Right, stop, stop.